Good morning, Oilers. Welcome back to another episode of Campus Update. Starting us off today, Nate is giving us an inside look at the new Clash Royale Club. Let's take a look at how that went. Howdy, Oilers. Are you interested in gaming, but don't have the time and money to invest in a big console or computer? Well, I might have the solution for you. Clash Royale Club. For those who aren't aware, Clash Royale is a free player versus player mobile game developed by Supercell. Students who love the game came together to play and participate in tournaments. So usually once a month we'll have a competition and we'll have prizes there for whoever the winner is for first and second. We get to see who's the best of the best and we get to trash talk. It's a lot of fun. Clash Royale Club meets every Thursday in room A41. Have fun, Clashers. <laughs> Wow, that looked like a lot of fun. Speaking of fun events going on, Alexis was able to cover some of the highlights from the downtown surfing parade. Before the break, Huntington Beach held the ISA Surf Paraplegic Championships. Our very own color guard and band performed at the opening day parade where countries from around the world celebrated their chance to compete. All these countries brought their best paraplegic surfers who qualified to compete under different sections based on their physical impairments. Each category gets 20 minutes to show off their skills and to get a good score and move on to the next round. There were many winners from different countries like Brazil, USA, England, Australia, and many more. Surfing is an important part of our community. Be sure to stay updated on how the competition turned out. And speaking of our community, Steven's here with some information about the Spark of Love toy drive. We all have those toys after we asked our parents forever to buy them for us. Well, this holiday season, you could spread some holiday joy by donating to the Spark of Love toy drive. The Spark of Love Toy Drive is a yearly toy drive made by the Huntington Beach Fire Stations. You could donate any unwrapped presents or toys. If you don't want to donate toys, you could also donate cash directly to the fire station. This toy drive will be happening throughout November and into December. Anyone can donate to the Spark of Love Toy Drive, so let's try and spread some cheer this holiday season. Thanks, Steven. This looks like an amazing opportunity for anyone looking to give back to our community. Next up, Keegan went down to the public library to ask about some new policies being put in place. On October 17th, our city council decided on new ideas in regards to proposals trying to limit access to certain books in our public libraries. These new ideas include having a council-appointed panel review books and creating a new optional library card requiring parent permission for minors wanting to check out books. I spoke with a board member from the Friends of the Huntington Beach Public Library Organization about these proposals. Um, our library is a large library. We order about 9,000 children's books per year. And this committee is only going to meet every six months. And any committee that needs to review every single book that's ordered is going to greatly impact the ordering of books. And the result of that is that there simply are no new books available in the children and the teen library. We believe that our librarians already do a wonderful job. They are professionals. They know what they're doing. We have zero complaints about books in the year 2023, not one. It's a problem that doesn't exist. Um, so obviously we oppose it. Personally, it does seem to me that they plan to target specifically LGBTQ books. And a lot of the books that they've targeted and shown at council meetings are really um, sex ed books. Um, one of the big ones is called It's Perfectly Normal. My friend Barbara, a librarian, she ordered that book first 29 years ago. So it's been in the library for a long, long time. It's never been a problem until now. That book was never in the children's library. It was in the teen library. We're just going to continue doing what we do and supporting our library. If you want to learn more about these policies, Slick Magazine has an article on the topic for you. And lastly for today, your favorite segment, yum, 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 yum. It's Talia with HB Bites. Recently, I went to get lunch at a place downtown called Sessions West Coast Deli. Sessions isn't your normal deli. They have what is called a scratch kitchen. This means that all food is prepared in-house daily. I got two signature sandwiches, the Yogi and the Summer Zephyr, as well as the Rosemary Skinny Fries. The Yogi is one of their signature sandwiches that includes chicken, avocado, pesto, and cucumber. The Summer Zephyr is another one of their signature sandwiches, which includes mozzarella and basil aioli. The Summer Zephyr is Session's Sandwich of the Year. The Rosemary Skinny Fries came with a house adobo buttermilk dip, which was delicious. Session's is located on PCH, so if you're ever at the beach and feeling hungry, make sure you stop by. Mmm, 
yum, that looks scrum diddly umptious. Well, that's all we have for you today, Oilers. See you next time on Campus Update. Bye. Yeah.